burning a few hundred cows to earn this cheat meal tonight. I hate it when people say that. I hate it when people go, oh, I've earned this. It's like, <laughs> you probably haven't. Anyway, that's exactly what I'm doing today. What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV today. It's gonna be an interesting one. We've got a few bits to be sorting out website wise. We've got a few bits to be sorting out content wise. A few bits to be sorting out life wise. <laughs> and it's gonna be a good video with a pizza. Mmm. Oh, a pizza. Oh, yeah. Sorry, just got lost in my head there. Okay, it's gonna be a good one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Welcome to the video. Let's get it started. Good girl, did you lie there this whole time? This whole time I was doing cardio, did you lie here like a good girl? Yes, you did, come on. So today's actually been a bit backwards for me, to be honest, it's a bit weird. Usually I would do my weight session first and then finish my, do my cardio once I've finished. Today, we actually trained uh, in the morning. I hate it when people say this, like two separate gym sessions in a day. It's like, well, you're doing a resistance session and a cardio session. You're still, you're doing completely different things, you know? So anyway, we did cardio this morning um, just to kind of earn my, my pizza I'm having tonight. Oh, you guys already know that. Anyway, we've had an, basically an entire day where I've been working on the website, on the LSJ website where I'm gonna be releasing all the stuff. It's coming very, very soon. It's coming sooner than you think. Stay tuned on my Instagram for daily kind of updates on that. However, that has taken all day. I've actually taken the day off today and essentially had like a an admin kind of day, sorting everything, stock, sorting it would pretty much everything that is gonna be needed. I've kind of, not quite, but I've kind of sorted it today. Um, but it has taken all day from sort of 9 a.m. to, what time is it now, like 5 p.m. So it, it's been a full day's work, but it's kind of cool that that's actually a thing that I, I have to do now, you know? Um, well, not have to do, I'm, I'm choosing to do it, but like, it's the thing that I am able to do now, you know, take a day and it be dedicated to my social media, what's gonna hopefully, you know, benefit me in the long run. I'm gonna keep this site running and I'm gonna release things kind of as we as we go. Anything that I then do from now, I can then link straight to that site and um, it can just be a lot easier for, well for me and for you to be honest, because it's all in one place, you know? Rather than having to think, oh, we might have linked it in a video somewhere, you can just go straight to the site or something, you know? But anyway, we're doing a push day today. Free has been taken and it's gonna be a good frigging session. I'm gonna earn myself that piece, I'm gonna earn it. Good session so far, solid pause bench. 90 for sets of 10 on paused, in a deficit. 178 pounds I am right now. Not after tonight, but anyway, <laughs> let's go. Use the one 
<laughs> so did I. <laughs> I'm going to kick off. I was like, no. <laughs> Hello. Good? A little bit. Oh, good. <laughs> it's been a rough night, people. You're not having a good Jim. day, are you? <laughs> no, I'm really not. <laughs> I've had such a good, productive day. Anyway, gyms are shut, so I'm going to take it upon myself to stay on track. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, seriously. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see live home workouts live ab workouts what you can do with basic stuff at home um let me know in the comments because i will do it because i realize that you know it's easy for me to say oh it doesn't matter it's going to be okay because i have the home gym and stuff and so i want to do what i can to keep you guys on track because i will be staying on track as much as i possibly can because i have no real excuse not to yeah. whereas you guys have the excuse not to and so i want to be that kind of bridge between you and 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 your goals if you like and what what your gym should be doing um so let me know in the comments because i will do it if you guys want it i will i will do it um whether it's on instagram or youtube or whatever again let me know in the comments and um i shall deliver i got you back i've got it all over my you've got it all over you if you've got that on the bed i'm gonna punch you so aggressive. I changed it earlier. It didn't go on the bed. I Something didn't. did. No, uh, it landed here. No, up. there. What's that? I don't know what that you is. You know? No. We're heading for a divorce Eat during pizza. this quarantine. <laughs> Put in. Uh, 250 mil. So up and to that line. Two, yeah. There. Quarter. Uh, yeah. Mom, I'm gonna pour. Pour! Oh no, I've got a phobia of wooden spoons. You've got a phobia of wooden spoons. Mm. Just, just for the tape. And um, Charlotte is currently holding her mouth like she's about to vomit. About a year ago, Liam had a problem with his mouth. And we had to go into A and E. Oh right! And because of that, and he was in that much pain that he had. In to fact, that was a year ago. Uh, yeah. Yesterday. Well, basically, they couldn't decide whether it was a dental problem or a gland problem. Then we didn't know whether mm -hmm. it was dentist or doctor. So we went to the walk-in centre, and they made Liam bite down. Like, does anyone know the wooden sticks that are around that big? Pretend we're, really pretend we're at the, the dentist, right? They just went, right, bite down on this. Oh, don't. Oh. And I was just like, no, I can't. You nearly cried in there. I'm like, yeah, yeah. They just couldn't get their head no. around the fact that I couldn't do it, could they? It was really irritating because I was in so much pain. And now whenever anyone gets a wooden spoon out, all I can think about is having to bite down on a wooden It was like spoon. a thin, 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 it was thin, like a lollipop thin stick. wooden stick. Yeah, like a lollipop stick. Yeah. And, and now I've got, I'm scared. Like, whenever I think about wooden spoons, I feel sick. I didn't realise that gave you a phobia of it. Yeah, really well, bad. Apologies for I my think um, I think about mouth blowing up. At least once a week, and how scared I am. <clears throat> what men have seen an oven before? Okay, guys. So let's not sugarcoat this. Um, what has happened and what is happening right now is um, shit. It's really quite shit. Um, and there's not an awful lot that we can do about it. Um, gyms are shut. Um, well, every, everything's shut. I went to go and buy a friggin' Mother's Day present and I, and I struggled, you know, um, because everything was shut. Um, yes, I shouldn't have left it so last minute. But anyway, what I want to do and what I want to focus on in um, this time is staying on track personally myself because at the end of the day, 
I have no excuse. I have the home gym. Um, I have, you know, we have a decent amount of food. We don't have all the foods that we want, but we have enough in order to keep my diet interesting and stuff. And, you know, this whole video is an epic cheat day, and so that doesn't matter. Um, but I know that probably one or two of you or maybe half a dozen of you at most watching this will have a home gym everyone else will be kind of stuck without if you like um and although people can can get dumbbells and get kettlebells and get all this kind of stuff it's still not your barbell bench press and it's still not everything that you want to do to have a kind of balanced um training plan however my idea is to run live sessions um, whether that be on Instagram or YouTube I want to I, I want to hold myself accountable because it's a little bit extra that I'm doing and I want to motivate you guys to actually do something because when something like this happens it can be I mean some of you will be taking complete deloads take a week take two weeks off maybe you have niggles that you want to get rid of I mean personally my my elbow elbows and wrists are actually probably in the need of that but I'm not I'm not taking it because I'm an idiot but some of you might choose to do that and that can be quite wise but there are going to be a lot of you guys watching this desperate to do something um, and I want to help with that I want to be because if, if you have no reason to to kind of go um, it can be hard to motivate yourself to um, go to the gym and I know it might sound silly uh, because we have the home gym and stuff but even at times it's hard for myself to motivate myself to go to the home gym purely because I just I just don't want to um, and because it's there I'm like oh I can just go tomorrow or you know there's no closing times so maybe I'll just do it in a bit um, and you know that it comes with its own struggles too but I'm not going to complain in any way at all because um, there are people that right now would kill to be in my position and I'm very aware of that I say how lucky I am to have the home gym all the freaking time and times like this um, really show why why it is such a, a, a privilege, if you like, to to have it downstairs. Um, and so what I want to do is is um, perhaps use that environment so that maybe you can feel immersed in that environment. Put some music on in the background or something. Whether I use this camera, whether I use my my phone to stream directly to Instagram or social media somewhere. I don't know, but I would like to um, provide some sort of, of, of free content for you guys because chances are you still paying for gym memberships and all this kind of stuff. So one thing that you're going to have to kind of get your head around is that this is not going to be a muscle building phase. This is not going to be a, I'm on a per my bulk, I'm gaining, I'm making all kinds of gains, you know, Hodge Twin style, that's not going to happen. What you might have to do is kind of change your perspective for the next kind of, um, few weeks for the next month or so and just think right okay this is my time to work on my flexibility this is my time to eat, uh, work out all those niggles that I've had in my wrist or in my knee or whatever alongside actually just being active right and when you have no gym to go to and if the gym is part of your routine like it is for most of you guys watching this and you don't have that it can be very easy to just sit back quite easily and just do nothing um, literally nothing and I would not blame you guys for doing that either but I'm going to use the age-old saying of, oh, if it just helps one person, if it helps one person, then that's me good. That's, that's kind of applying to this, because if I put one or two things on a week and someone does a little bit extra exercise once or twice a week, stays active, that is going to help them mentally. And that is the point that is going to be the most difficult thing for this entire time, is staying mentally healthy. Because staying physically healthy, you can go for a walk, you can go for a run. It might be a bit shit and you don't necessarily want to, but it's good for your health. So you can do it and it's free. As long as you have some shoes or something, you can just go for a run. I mean, some people go barefoot, but anyway. Um, I want to provide a, a reason. I, I have no reason to not stop training, if that makes sense, other than I can't be bothered to. So I want to give you guys a reason because you have those excuses, if you like. Um, I don't have any excuse to not train. You guys do. And so I want to help you through this 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 time. The thing is, I actually understand. I, I don't, it might sound silly again because we have it straight downstairs, but when I was younger, I used to play a lot of sport. Um, a lot of sport, lots of rugby, lots of cricket, lots of tennis, lots of hockey, 
pretty much anything that was in season, I, I played it um, a lot. And I had my fair share of injuries as a kid. I had ankle injuries, I had lower back injuries, I had hamstring injuries, I had, well, pretty much, I've, I've never actually broken a bone, touch wood, as of yet. Um, but I, I've pulled pretty much every muscle, even somehow injured my trap playing rugby and all this kind of stuff. Um, so I, I understand because these injuries at times have set me out for a month, set me out for three months, set me out for six months. I've had a lot of time forced away from what I love and I'm aware that that is what you guys have um, now. And so I wish in that time I had something else that I could be doing or I should have done more or whatever. But in that time I actually learned to do lots of other things. You know, if you don't want to stay active, take that break from the gym. I actually learned to spin a basketball on my finger for skill number one. Uh, I learned to completely solve a Rubik's Cube for skill number two. Uh, what else did I learn? I, I learned to juggle, skill number three, all separate injuries. But I kept myself amused during this, this time off of what I love doing um, by, by keeping my brain amused and doing other things, you know. Um, and it worked for me, so try and find something. If you don't want to get involved with these classes or whatever, then just try and find something. Stay active, stay happy, stay healthy. That is the most important thing. And um, look after yourselves, look after your family. Please be sensible. Wash your hands. Sing happy birthday. Social distancing, all this kind of stuff. Please take it seriously, guys. Take it seriously. Um, we need to take it seriously. Okay, they wouldn't be shutting the gym for no friggin' reason, would they? So. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you would like to see me kind of create. Let me know what you would like to see me um, put out there for you guys. If it's something in particular, a leg day or a full body kind of, whether I just write a plan that you guys could maybe follow and I could put it on the site that I'm going to release hopefully the end of next week. Um, maybe I could just put it on there and, and you can just download it for free or something. I don't, I don't know. I want to do something because I know how shitty it is to be forced out of what you love doing. The government have closed the gyms, but my injuries were through my own stupid rugby and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you in the next one. One more thing. Going to be putting out as much content as possible uh, throughout this time. Keep you guys amused. You're missing the football. You're missing everything. Okay? So I'm going to keep you amused. Together we will grow. I got your back, people. See you in the next one.